Thanks for stopping by at Twisted Art Designs. Today I'm going to show you an alternative uh, way to decorate the owl in the um, owl kit that I posted previously and I will, this is video number two, I'll link the first video so that you can see the mandala owl that comes in the kit as well. So this is the plain owl and I decorated it a bit differently and thought you might enjoy a fun idea for how to use the plain owl in different ways. So again it's movable and I'll show you how I completed this. So I thought it would be fun to take the plain owl since the last demonstration I use the mandala owl. This time I'm going to take the plain owl and uh, do this art journal page a little bit differently. And I think what I'm going to do, I have this printed with the wings like this, I think I'm going to reprint it onto blue cardstock to make blue wings. And then I will get started and show you what my idea is. This is just to show some different ideas of how to use that pattern. So I've printed the wings onto blue cardstock and now I'm going to take some colored pencils and I'm going to add some color and depth to these wings with colored pencils. Here's how my wings came out. I used colored pencil and um, Arteza acrylic markers or acrylic paint pen markers and blended it out and then um, I redefined some of the lines with a black Tombow drawing pen and I like how those feathers came out or those wings came out. They're nice and colorful now. So what I'm going to do with this, I've got some really fun scrapbook paper here and I'm going to use this body as a template. So what I'm going to do is fussy cut out this body and then use it to trace onto the scrapbook paper. I cut the body away from the head and I left um, this area of the leg and then I left the rest because what I've decided to do is on my blue cardstock where that part of the pattern printed I'm going to use these blue feet, this blue body and then I'm going to color this piece and add it to the top here. So it's going to be really cute and very decorative. So what I want to do with this piece is to use it as a template for cutting out something cool and interesting to look at for the body on this piece of cardstock. So I need to find something that I really like. Um, the swirls or even this part that has uh, some glitter on it. Something fancy. I'm not sure what. So I'll figure that out and then I'm going to just trace around that with pen and cut out a body shape out of this cardstock. And I don't need to cut out all these details right here and, and individually cut those. What I can do is just come across like this and then cut out the shape without all those little feathers since I'm going to put that head back on the body. I know this probably sounds complicated but you'll see when it's all done. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that shape out. I have this fancy body which I just think is adorable. And this owl on blue cardstock. So the body is going to go like this. And then the head is going to go right here. And then I've got the blue feet that are going to stay like that. So it's going to have its blue feet at the bottom. And then what I want to do is to take other pieces of some pattern paper with blues and I'm going to cut out some feathers and I'm just going to cut random shapes like this. And I'm not making them very big because I want to tuck those underneath and glue those to make some feathers tufting out from underneath his neck. I'm going to color this in blues and then I have all these cute feathers out of all different kinds of cardstock pattern paper and I'm going to stick those under and curl them a little bit to make some feathers underneath his neck. And I'm going to take a piece of tracing paper and I'm going to put that tracing paper down and trace out the shape of that triangular section on my owl's head so that I can cut out another piece of that fancy cardstock 
using this as a template to make a fancy piece that goes right there. So, And luckily you can see through your trace paper to find a really fun and interesting image like this one. And if you hold your trace paper right over the paper you're cutting, you can just cut it. Got a nice little template to cut out that little piece, and then that's going to go on his head, and it'll match the body like this. So it's essentially becoming a paper piecing, but I'm assembling my cute little blue owl. And these wings, I'm going to, because this isn't sturdy enough to make wings that'll pop up, I'm going to go ahead and glue this down with matte gel medium to cardboard and then trim out the wings so that they're backed with cardboard. And I have a previous video for the Mandala Owl with the movable wings, and I'll put a link below. It shows the steps for assembling the owl, for doing the movable parts, and I'm not going to show that in this video. I just wanted to show some ideas for using the plain owl body. So I'll be back when I start to assemble this. To assemble this owl, first thing I'm going to do is take my art glitter glue, and I'm going to glue this fancy body piece down to the blue cardstock owl. I'm just going to put some art glitter glue on the back and press this into place. Like that. Next I'm going to color this paper piece of the owl's head. I colored my bird face with Arteza brush pens and colored pencils and then this piece is going to go here the piece that I cut out using my little Template so I'm going to go ahead and glue that into place with my glue Then I'm going to glue my owl head into place, but I'm going to leave this neck part loose because I want to put those feathers that I cut out underneath. So for right now, I'm just going to glue the top part of the head just to get it into place. looking pretty cute. So now I'm going to take my feathers and the first thing I'm going to do is go around the edges with a brush marker so that I don't have those white edges. You know me and white edges. But if I finish them off like that just with a brush pen then they look more finished and I'm going to do that to all those feathers I cut out. And now I'm going to take a paintbrush handle and I'm going to shape these just like I did in the last video. I'm going to shape these the same way as I did the leaves in the last video so that the feathers kind of stand away and they're not just flat. 
I could just tuck them under there and have them be flat, but I really like that rounded look of rounding the edge and then rounding the point so you get a shape like this. And it just makes them look a little more interesting. So I'm going to shape them all and I'm going to lay them all out and tuck them all under here until I get them placed just right before I glue them in. So I'll show you what that looks like. Now I'm just going to take my glue and I'm going to start gluing in my little feathers and just put some glue on the edge and tuck it underneath his neck and get them all lined up and into place. And I'm going to overlap them and tuck them in and get them all glued in. Looking so cute. I love layered paper. It looks really cute. So now I'm going to just go underneath this edge that I didn't glue down and put a little bit of glue, tuck a little bit of glue underneath, but it can be poking up a little. That gives it character too. It doesn't have to be glued down tight. But there you have it. Now I've got this cute layered owl. And the feet, I'm going to color those in. And I think I'm going to use a paint pen. A yellow paint pen for the little toes. For his little toe claws. adding some details there super cute I use some colored pencil to just add some shading to the toes and the feet and in fact I'm gonna color that part in Now I'm going to take my Tombow Mono drawing pen and I'm going to just draw in some details on these little feathers that I've made out of paper. Just a couple little details. I'm taking my Posca pen. I used yellow and I added some doodles on the body. I'm just adding some detailing and just jazzing them up, making them just look more decorative. I mean, he's already decorative, but he can never be too decorative. I assembled my bird like the previous video and I'll have the link in the description box below so you can see how I did that. This was merely just to show you another way of using the plain owl if if you wanted to uh, do something decorative and not use the mandala owl. So I've added it, this one to an art journal page that I'm working on. It's still a work in progress. But here is my owl with pattern paper on the body and feathers underneath the collar and then a pattern paper piece that matches up top and blue wings and a blue tail and the same thing you pull the tail and his wings come up so there is my example of how to use the plain owl in the art journal articulated owl interactive art journal page so um, if you're interested there's a link where you can purchase the kit and again I'll put the other video so that you can see how to create and assemble the owls and then this gave you a fun idea of just something different to try so I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you're playing in your art journal today and making something fun and interesting because art soothes the heart mm -hmm.